What we're seeing today is that there's this new technological revolution taking place. We have rolled out G Suite across 140,000 employees. We are clearing about 250 trillion euros per year. This is about three times the global GDP. We have a pretty strong belief that we can, together with Google, build the best cloud for us. And that frees us up to do Spotify-specific things. We have a very large customer base. You know that design you're going to engineer into an app change. The next morning, millions of customers are going to be using it. Brilliantly designed change, customers are always happy to receive it. We are very proud of the speed with which we are driving change. Through the collaboration with Google Cloud, we can innovate together and really make an impact. Welcome to Next on Air. It's great to be with you today. When I spoke at our last European digital event in May, I was broadcasting in my daughter's room from our home in London. A lot has changed since then. Firstly, I've moved to another room in the house. Uh, this year was tough. And when stability turned to uncertainty, I've been truly inspired by our customers' response. Okado Technology. You supported your retail partners in delivering 40% more groceries during the pandemic than pre-lockdown. Azienda Zero and Hackney Council, you've empowered essential workers with collaboration tools to continue serving their communities from home in real time. Dennis Bank, you helped customers bank from home, scaling to more than 2 million transactions a day by launching a mobile app to meet new demands. From Fiat Chrysler offering virtual showrooms and car buying experiences, to IKEA Retail creating interior design experiences in the palm of customers' hands, these are stories of innovation during challenging times, of IT and business coming together to drive both top-line value as well as bottom-line operational efficiencies. But what decisions allowed these organizations to thrive when others put innovation on hold? First, in these companies, IT has built an open platform for agility. Agility means being able to quickly respond to change. A platform for agility enables the business to cost-effectively scale up or down with the needs of the business, deliver new services to customers faster, and partner effectively with other businesses in their ecosystem. So why does a platform for agility matter for innovation? We polled over 30,000 DevOps professionals to find out. The top tier of these companies, those who we call elite performers, deploy code 200 times more frequently than low performers, while only having one seventh of the change failure rate. So they're rolling out innovations at a much faster rate without compromising quality or stability. There is an important architectural principle underlying platforms for agility, and that's openness. This drives the high pace of innovation in the consumer space and ecosystems such as Android. For your organization, taking an open approach makes good on the promise to build once and have a single way to deploy, secure, and manage your applications all without lock-in. It also means opening up your application services as building blocks to be reused by your developers or even developers of ecosystem partners, if you wish. The good news is the technology practices and culture leading to such agility, which result in business value, can be learned and replicated. We'll explain how Google Cloud can help in a bit. Second, the companies that continue to transform and innovate have the ability to derive intelligence from data. You've all seen figures like these. The volume of data created over the next three years will be greater than the last 30 years combined. The amount of data available continues to rise exponentially. Storage is getting cheaper, so we can capture all that data. This doesn't matter very much unless we have the ability to make sense of it. If we can derive that intelligence from the data, there are two areas where we can make a real impact on the business. The first is in helping your business leaders make the right decisions. The second is in using data to automate and personalize products and services, creating fantastic employee, customer, and partner experiences. We support you with getting intelligence from data in two ways. We have prepackaged 
industry specific solutions for you to take and roll out today. And we have the easiest analytics and machine learning platform for you to build your own applications. Now, I'd like to invite Google Cloud CEO, Thomas Kurian, to tell us more about how Google Cloud can help our EMEA customers as you continue to solve for operational efficiency, return to growth, and innovate for a more digital future. Over to you, Thomas. Thank you, Chris. Our vision for Google Cloud has always been to accelerate every organization's ability to digitally transform their business and to reimagine their business through data-powered innovation. More recently, in Europe, Middle East, and Africa, we've been touched by the many ways in which you have worked so heroically through this pandemic. And we've been grateful for the work that our organization has been able to do to support institutions as they gradually recover, reimagine their business models, and build for a new normal. We continue to invest aggressively in Europe, Middle East, and Africa with our sales, our customer service, and our technology delivery capabilities. We offer three important capabilities to support your transformation. Industry-specific digital transformation solutions, a digital transformation platform, and distributed infrastructure as a service. The ongoing COVID pandemic is accelerating the shift to digital that was already underway across every industry. Consumer expectations are changing. Witness the growth in e-commerce, online gaming, and streaming entertainment. People are increasingly adapting from home using a new collaboration and video conferencing tools. Governments are changing regulatory requirements, including delivery of healthcare via telemedicine. And organizations are challenged with cost pressures on traditional IT budgets. As a result, Executive teams in many organizations are looking for new technological solutions to recover and prepare for a new future, and are looking for solutions that are adapted to the unique needs of their industry and business. Let's start by looking at our industry-specific solutions for transformation. We offer a broad range of industry-specific digital transformation solutions that are based on Google's expertise in artificial intelligence and machine learning, and are designed to apply this expertise to solve important business problems, not just IT problems, in different industries. These solutions help you get business results quickly without needing to have a large number of data scientists in your organization. Let's start by looking at one of these industries, retail. We serve many of the world's largest retailers and are rated by independent analysts as the world's best and leading cloud provider for retailers. We solve three important problems for retailers. First, enabling you to capture digital and omni-channel revenue growth by accelerating your e-commerce presence. Second, to transform your organization into data-driven businesses by helping you optimize your customer reach with more targeted marketing and advertising, and by helping you merchandise and forecast demand better. And third, to modernize your core retail operations by driving operational improvements in the store, in online, in your supply chain, and distribution network. We're helping many retailers prepare for the upcoming holiday season with the e-commerce systems, to launch new innovations such as curbside pickup, contactless ordering and checkout, and using our expertise in data and analytics technology to identify opportunities to reduce shrinkage, customer churn, while increasing upsell and cross-sell of new products. Let's hear from one of the world's leading retailers, Carrefour, who uses our technology to transform and drive innovation throughout their business. I think Carrefour is a pretty unique company. We have a huge transformation program underway to really bring innovation to the food industry and make sure that what we do is better for the planet, the way we produce, the way we distribute. 
but our main focus is really to make sure that we make good food accessible to all and through all distribution channels. It's gonna take a whole company to make that change possible. We have rolled out G Suite across 140,000 employees. Thanks to Google Cloud Platform Technology, we are redefining the ways of doing shopping, developing an omni-channel value proposition for our customers. We're extremely proud to have Google as a partner to empower Carrefour to achieve its ambition. If you're a communications company, we at Google Cloud can help you in three important ways. Help you monetize and build new revenue streams with the investments you're making in 5G and mobile edge computing. We can help you transform and modernize your customer experience in your contact center and in your retail stores. And we can modernize your core information technology and network operations. For instance, we're helping a leading communications company transform its contact center, both chat and voice, through virtual agent technology that streamlines how they assist customers through voice as well as self-service channels, answering questions and assisting human agents, thereby lowering cost, reducing customer wait times, and improving net promoter scores. We also recognize that many consumer and enterprise applications are latency sensitive and mobile 5G networks should transform from being about bandwidth and connectivity to becoming application delivery environments. We provide solutions to carriers to help plan and optimize their 5G network deployments, to help them orchestrate their radio access network and core networking functions, we also provide a catalog of prepackaged 5G and edge solutions built on our global mobile edge cloud platform to enable smart retail, smart gaming, industrial IoT, factory automation, and several other solutions. We're working with many leading telecommunications carriers around the world, like Orange and Telefonica, to bring our 5G mobile edge computing solutions to help them, along with important partners, to generate new business opportunities. We're also enabling our manufacturing customers, like Renault and Siemens, in their constant pursuit of operational excellence and continuous improvement. We're accelerating the time from innovation to impact through collaborative design, high-performance simulation, and smart and connected product development. We're driving artificial intelligence into manufacturing operations to improve and increase asset utilization and overall yield with visual quality inspection, enhancing operating equipment efficiency with predictive maintenance, improving sustainability efforts with industrial adaptive controls, and shortening cycle times with real-time data insights from manufacturing systems. And we're helping customers eliminate waste, streamline processes, improve resource utilization, and optimize across the value chain through the modernization of core operations. If you're in healthcare and life sciences, we can help you too in a variety of important ways. We're helping organizations accelerate the process of drug discovery, delivery, and distribution for companies like Roche and Sanofi. If you're a hospital or a provider, we can help you improve how you deliver patient care in a secure and continuous way. And finally, we can also help modernize the core IT infrastructure for life sciences and healthcare institutions. We provide a variety of solutions, whether it's for genomic data management, drug simulation, population health modeling, and analytics for drug discovery. We offer with our partners really great solutions for telehealth to help doctors take care of patients and to help doctors, nurses, 
and other hospital staff collaborate amongst themselves. And we're working with leading hospitals and life sciences organizations to modernize their core IT systems. Finally, if you're a financial services institution, we can also help you in three important ways. We can help you accelerate omni-channel banking with a broad suite of solutions, including virtual agents, personalized mobile and internet banking, and powerful contact center solutions to help transform customer response using AI-powered virtual agents. We can also improve how quickly you can originate products and process loans using our document intelligence solutions, giving you time to market advantage in offering new products and services to consumers. We can transform the data that your financial institution has into intelligence with our data and analytics platform. Financial institutions can use this platform for customer data analytics to segment customers and identify what products to upsell and cross-sell them. They can use our platform for financial market simulation, liquidity and risk reporting, and to meet regulatory requirements like FRTB, CCAR, and Basel III. Finally, financial institutions can also modernize the core technology operations with solutions such as mainframe optimization, core bank hosting, integrating payment platforms and gateways, and using our API management solution to enable open banking. One of these leading providers is Lloyd's. Let's hear some more about how they're partnering with us at Google Cloud to transform their business operations. Our purpose is helping Britain prosper and bring the customer at the center of what we do. In the early days, we used to worry about how much change we were giving the customer. Is it too much? And do we need to slow it down and actually know basically the answer? Brilliantly designed change, customers are always happy to receive it. We're at a juncture where we now want to just accelerate the next to the next stage. How do we unlock our engineers? And that's why we think an organization like Google, an organization that is grounded in engineering, will get us to the next level. We have a very large customer base. Google Cloud will really help us drive large-scale, highly resilient systems and iterate much more rapidly. Do experimentation, but do it in a way that's safe, that doesn't jeopardize customer service. We will get much faster at delivering great things to customers. Through the collaboration with Google Cloud, we can innovate together and really transform banking, really make an impact. The next thing I'd like to talk about is our digital transformation platform. We provide a number of capabilities to modernize your applications, to process data at scale for analytic purposes, to use Google's machine learning tools to understand data in new ways, to collaborate with people in your organization or outside, and to build applications without writing a single line of code. For application modernization, we've made many enhancements to our Anthos technology. First, when you run Anthos in your data center, in a hybrid cloud mode, we provide you the capability not just to run Anthos and VMware, but we're also introducing a bare metal version of Anthos, which you can run on your existing hardware platforms, such as Cisco, Dell, HP, Lenovo, or others. You can run them both on CPUs or GPUs if you're using Anthos to run machine learning. We've also broadened Anthos support to allow you to run Anthos on AWS, and we are in preview on Azure. We allow you to use Anthos not just to run cloud-native containerized workloads, but also to manage virtual machines so you can mix both greenfield and what's called brownfield workloads in a single platform. And finally, we're bringing Anthos to mobile edge clouds so that from a single global control plane, you can discover clusters to which you can deploy workload, either in Google Cloud, AWS, Azure, and even on telecom carriers' mobile edges. 
You can seamlessly distribute workload to these environments without changing a single line of code, and you can optimize based on your application's latency and scale requirements. Anthos gives you a great platform to modernize your existing application estate, supporting new cloud-native workloads and your existing application estate that runs on virtual machines. Anthos also provides you the ability to develop, run, monitor, secure, and manage applications consistently across cloud platforms. It allows you to scale your entire development pipeline and development teams, and it's based on years of experience that Google has in providing some of the industry's best software development practices in developing and scaling cloud-based services. Along with running your applications, Google can also help you manage data at scale with a comprehensive collection of managed database offerings. We've evolved our database portfolio to provide a comprehensive suite of managed relational and non-relational databases. You can migrate, re-platform existing databases, including Oracle, SQL Server, MySQL, and Postgres, or build high-scale cloud-native applications with our non-relational databases. You get the benefits of improved security with comprehensive data encryption, better reliability and performance, and lower operating costs, since you do not have to perform the tasks of running and managing the databases. Moving from transaction processing databases to infrastructure for analytics. We've introduced an important new capability with BigQuery, which is the ability to run BigQuery and use it to analyze data from Azure and Amazon. In other words, from just BigQuery's user interface, you can now query data in Amazon and Azure without having to move that data to Google Cloud, so you can bring the power of BigQuery analytics to wherever your data sets without having to pay expensive egress fees in moving that data from other cloud providers to Google. This represents the next phase of Google's continued commitment to open multi-cloud technology. In addition to making BigQuery available on other clouds, we're also adding two important new advances to our analytics platform. We've integrated Looker as a foundational element of our analytics portfolio. This allows you to take any data source on Google Cloud or any other cloud have a consistent set of data definitions and expose these different data sources through a data API, on top of which you can do dashboarding, build operation workflow, and integrate data-driven applications into your business. We're also evolving our data science platform to make machine learning pipelines just as efficient and easy to use as software development pipelines. In a single workbench, we allow you to be able to prepare data, train and validate models, and deploy and scale them. We're now seeing continued evolution in how people work together. Most organizations will continue to support a combination of remote work and work at the office. This calls for unprecedented flexibility in the technology we use. Every worker, regardless of where they are, of what device they're using, needs to easily and securely communicate and collaborate within and beyond the boundary of their organization. Our collaboration tools, unlike other products that were never designed to be cloud native, make it easy for white collar workers and first line workers to communicate and collaborate with others around the world with just a browser or a mobile device, and without the complexity of network VPNs and other legacy technologies. We've seen users actively using our collaboration tools in a variety of contexts, doctors taking care of patients via telehealth in Italy, schools teaching children via remote learning in many countries, social service agencies taking care of adopted children in the United States, banks delivering contactless services to their customers in Asia and Europe. 
The next step in our evolution with our collaboration tools is to allow users to communicate with one another seamlessly using email, chat, audio, and video as different modes of communication, but seamlessly. For example, you and I may be communicating in real time over chat, but you need to leave for a meeting and want to continue asynchronously over email. Wouldn't it be useful to automatically save our chat into email so you can resume later in email? As a result, we've integrated Gmail, Google Chat, audio and video meet into a completely seamless communication experience, all in one place, not two places, one for email and one for chat. This capability is now available to all G Suite customers. Second, we're continuing to deepen the integration of this experience across the whole of G Suite. Consider, for example, picture-in-picture -picture video meetings, which allow you to collaborate and document while talking to somebody live. This replicates the feeling of collaborating with a real person in the office to help distributed teams stay connected and productive even when they're working from home. But that's not all. Make sure each of you tune into next week's keynote with Javier Soltero, because we've got an amazing, exciting announcement about the future of G Suite. You know, I can't give too much away now, but you don't want to miss it. Similar to the way in which we're simplifying collaboration, we're also broadening our reach to allow for digital transformation outside of the IT organization. We want to enable every line of business user to use simple self-serve tools powered by no-code application development and APIs to create and extend applications with new web and mobile forms, to build and automate business workflows, and to connect and modernize legacy applications. We're integrating AppSheet, our zero-code application development platform, with Apigee, our leading API management platform, and bringing that experience into G Suite to make it easy for business users to build, extend, and collaborate around business applications and workflow. Finally, underpinning our industry solutions and our digital transformation platform is our global scale distributed infrastructure as a service. We provide four contexts in which you can use our infrastructure technology. In Google Cloud regions, in your data centers, what's called hybrid cloud, on top of other cloud providers, Amazon and Azure, multi-cloud, and even in a telecommunications mobile edge computing environment. You can use our infrastructure in any of these contexts with a single consistent open programming model and API. Recognizing the demand for our cloud technology in many different parts of the world and from global multinational customers, we broadened our region footprint. We're now live in 24 regions, five new this year alone, and 73 zones globally, allowing us to service customers in over 200 countries around the world. In less than a year, we've announced five new cloud regions in Europe, in Poland, two in Italy, Spain, and France. We've seen our Duna subsea cable landing connecting the Atlantic coast of the US and France. And we announced a new one named Grace Hopper that will run between the east coast of the United States, the United Kingdom and Spain, enabling our customers to benefit from an even better, faster, more reliable and more secure infrastructure. In addition to new infrastructure products we introduced at Cloud Next a month ago, our infrastructure is optimized to make migration of enterprise workloads to the cloud extremely simple and cost-effective. For instance, we provide the best support for SAP, including environments as large as 24 terabytes. In a study on the total economic impact 
of migrating and running SAP workloads on Google Cloud, Forrester Research found an average ROI of 160% over just three years. We can also help you migrate and modernize IBM mainframes, AS400, P-Series, Windows, and Oracle workloads into Google Cloud. Today, we're also announcing that Google Cloud VMware Engine, our VMware as a service offering, is now available in two new data centers, London and Frankfurt. Google Cloud VMware Engine is an integrated first-party Google offering with end-to-end -end support to migrate and run your VMware workloads in Google Cloud. By running your VMware workloads in Google Cloud as a managed service, you reduce your operational burden while benefiting from the scale and agility of Google Cloud. We also have a comprehensive methodology and framework for data center transformation that we have matured as we have helped hundreds of customers exit their data centers. We provide customers with the ability to re-host, re-platform, or re-factor existing systems and applications as part of either a complete or partial move to the cloud. We also provide you with the appropriate tools and skills to operate successfully in the cloud, including training your organization on DevOps, managing and optimizing your technology costs in the cloud, evaluating and rationalizing your existing applications portfolio, and modernizing legacy systems and applications. All of these are designed to help you not just migrate out of legacy data centers, but to have a more complete technology platform for your organization. We recognize when you move workloads to Google Cloud that security and privacy are important areas of risk and a concern for customers. Further, as public clouds become an increasingly critical part of the technology infrastructure of countries, we're also introducing a number of key capabilities to meet the sovereign cloud requirements of different countries. Starting with our new security capabilities, we introduced a new confidential computing portfolio. Confidential computing allows you, as a customer, to run workloads in Google Cloud and to ensure that data is encrypted all the time, at rest, in transit, and even while it's being processed. Secondly, we've introduced a number of solutions to protect and give you threat visibility for intrusion monitoring. Beyond Corp for zero trust access to applications that are web-based in Google Cloud and even at your premise and on other clouds. Third, we have a comprehensive range of security solutions to protect data and applications all the way from the endpoint to the cloud for both G Suite and Google Cloud Platform to address privacy and data sovereignty requirements from customers and policymakers, we recognize that your data is your data and no one else's. When you move data into our cloud, your use of G Suite and Google Cloud Platform continues to meet GDPR standards for transfer of personal data outside of the EU. We do not sell your data to any third parties. We do not use it for advertising. We only use it to deliver the cloud service that you're consuming in Google Cloud. When working with us on AI and machine learning development, this means your data will only ever be used to train AI models for your use and your use only. We guarantee the integrity of your data by encrypting it at rest, in transit, and with confidential computing, even while it's being processed. With access transparency, access justification, and access approval, you have sole control of who can access your data. And you can even deny Google operators access to your data. No one at Google has standing access to your data. And you have sole control of the location in which your primary copy, your secondary copy, and any backups are maintained. Finally, with external key manager, 
You can also maintain the encryption keys off-site from Google and air-gapped from any employee at Google. All of these standards have been vetted and accredited against international norms. To meet operational sovereignty requirements, we provide a comprehensive framework based on transparency, inspectability, and zero trust. Specifically, you have comprehensive auditability with consolidated, tamper-evident cloud audit logs. You can view and control decryption operations and administrative access. You can view security configuration changes made to infrastructure and hardware. And you can deny any unauthorized access with our zero trust model. We can provide local support and administration within selected regions and operational and optional third party administration and operations. Finally, to provide you with choice to train your software engineering teams on a single consistent technology stack that works across cloud providers. And to address concerns from policymakers around mitigation concentration risk and survivability, we're committed to three important efforts. First, our cloud services are compatible with open source APIs or based on open source technology, much of which has been contributed by Google. Second, the services that run on private cloud infrastructure can be run disconnected from Google. And third, you can also migrate and orchestrate workloads across multiple clouds via our Anthos technology. At Google Cloud, we're committed to addressing the requirements of our customers and policymakers in Europe, Middle East, and Africa. Finally, we understand reducing the environmental impact from your IT operations as a priority. It is for us too. That's why we've been carbon neutral for more than a decade, a first for any company our size. And since 2017, Google has purchased enough renewable energy to match 100% of our annual global electricity consumption. For you, our cloud customers, we operate the cleanest cloud in the world. That means the net operational emissions of your Google Cloud usage is zero. As Google enters its third decade driving climate action, we remain committed to continuing to raise the bar to enable your company to operate more sustainably using our cloud. Now that you've heard about our commitments on a global scale infrastructure, as well as security, privacy, and sustainability, Let's see here from Deutsche Börse Group, one of our important customers, on how they're using our infrastructure to scale their business globally. Deutsche Börse Group is one of the world's leading exchange organizations. We make trade easier, faster, and safer by using Google Cloud as the foundations for a scalable, resilient, and compliant infrastructure for financial markets. We needed the public cloud to improve agility, drive efficiency, and gain access to cutting-edge analytics and AI tools. By using Google Cloud VMware Engine, we were able to spin up new private cloud in under 40 minutes with minimal disruption, scale our business on demand, and meet our customers' needs while still using VMware tools and our existing processes. It gives us access to innovation while maintaining the same robustness, the same tooling as we have it today with the benefits of added portability and agility. Google Cloud is so important for our business to unlock further potential for us as a company and for our clients. In the future, we will be able to innovate quicker than we have ever done before, and that's great. In closing, to bring all of these capabilities to you, our customers, and to address the rapidly scaling cloud business at Google, we're executing several important initiatives. We're very rapidly expanding and specializing our global sales team so that you have deeply knowledgeable teams working with you. 
We're scaling our customer experience, customer success, and support teams, including the introduction of premier support and mission-critical support with five-minute response time. We're expanding our capabilities with partners to support well-defined data center transformation programs. We continue to grow and invest and expand our global system integrator and reseller network. We're investing in a developer advocacy and enablement program with broad developer training and strong developer certifications. And we continue to expand our ISV and solution marketplaces with very attractive benefits to our partners. All of these initiatives are designed to provide you with the best expertise from Google and a broad network of partners to utilize our cloud solutions effectively. We are very encouraged by all of the momentum that we're seeing and feel grateful for the opportunity that leading organizations have provided us to help them reimagine their business and to accelerate digital transformation as they emerge from the pandemic. We're announcing a multi-year strategic partnership with Deutsche Bank to transform banking with the next generation of technology-based financial products for their clients. We're also very excited to partner with a number of leading European customers like Spotify, Ikea, Telefonica, Renault, Carrefour, and Lloyds Banking Group, just to name a few. We're also grateful for the broad network of partners, system integrators, resellers, and independent software vendors, as well as managed service providers who have worked so closely with us to expand our work with customers globally. They are just a small illustrative subset of the great partners we have in different parts of the world. Thank you, each of our customers and partners, for your continued collaboration. And we wish you every success as you reimagine your business in the future. I'd like to introduce Chris again to talk about how Google shares its culture of innovation with you, our clients. Thank you. Thank you, Thomas. Cloud-based technology has increased the competitiveness of most industries. But in the markets flooded with alternatives and growing customer expectations, if you want to maintain consistent competitive edge, technology alone is not enough. During the pandemic, over 90% of teams that focused on creating agile workplaces and processes reported an increase in operational performance and customer satisfaction. Those agile workplaces are the result of how people, structures, and processes interact every day. We refer to this as organizational culture. Since 1998, when Google was a garage startup, we've retained the culture of continuous innovation where smart people are excited by the same vision and where transparency and data outrank speculation and politics. To help our customers be successful, we start by sharing our learnings about cultures that result in innovation. We then partner with many of our customers to select and leverage those elements that are a good fit for them. We do this through a combination of courseware, workshops, and advisory services. Here are five core principles that help some of our customers transform their culture. It starts with talent. Different people will perform well in different tech organizations. Customers start by redefining their approach to attracting, hiring, nurturing, and even reskilling their employees. Second is strategy. Google pr prides itself on 10x thinking. We've helped deliver strategies that not only created business value, but allowed customers to embrace a culture of testing, iteration, and data-driven decision-making. Next is about structure. Once you fill the room with the right people and set the right strategy, Two barriers to big ideas are information and hierarchy. We have designed organizational structures for technology teams that increased the flow of information and facilitated innovation. Number four is environment. Google has worked with customers to design physical environments that inspire creative work. But with the increase in remote work, we've also helped organizations foster creativity in those remote environments. Finally, empowerment. Some good ideas can and do come from anywhere. Empowering employees to take action on them is critical. 
We share cultural best practices, which customers have used to give every employee the license to innovate responsibly. As Thomas stated earlier, our goal has always been to build best-in-class solutions capable of transforming your organization. And we believe another key part of this is about sharing expertise and culture best practices. The world has changed, but our mission won't. Our existence is defined by your success. We want to thank each of our customers and partners for the amazing work you've done with us, and we look forward to further deepening our collaboration and together creating some real magic. Enjoy the rest of next.